Hello everybody. Today we have with us Dr. Heman Chauve, principal of Swarnam Science College at uh, Swarnam Startup and Innovation University. Welcome to the College Dunya Portal, sir. Thank you very much. So, sir, beginning with the interview, my first question to you is that you have held several key positions at educational institutes throughout your professional career. What are the key factors that keep you connected to the education sector? Uh, I have been uh, on the key positions for several years, but uh, basically, when you are asking that uh, uh, about my connection uh, regarding education, so uh, to be connected in the education sector or any sector, there must be, uh, I believe, a keen interest of anyone, and there are some uh, basic properties or say basic characteristics which keeps you connected with that. So when we talk about uh, education, so the the original definition is something around uh, giving or uh, receiving a systematic instruction instructions that is called education. But I believe education is the definition somehow more broad, or it is a wide range. That is a uh, continuous learning process. I believe at anywhere at any age. that word at any age fascinating me always because education is one that uh, spread awareness and education is something that generates your logic and education i believe is the something that uh, ask you uh, to uh, to uh, generate questions uh, generates your scientific reasonings and it is a, it is a symbol of progress i believe so uh, particularly when you talk about me before being as the head of any institute i am a teacher first so education and teaching is in my blood so learning something new uh, active involvement in uh, say uh, recent advancements in my core subject that always keeps me connected in the what you say uh, uh, education sector absolutely sir so so what is your philosophy of leadership and how would you like to describe your leadership style okay leadership philosophy so uh, as per uh, my perspective uh, leadership philosophy is a uh, we say generally it's a constructional uh, approach of leading others now in general uh, we call it as a, a set of principles and beliefs that governs your action and redirection now you also talk about my leadership style so style is nothing but a uh, Uh, implementation of your philosophy because philosophy might be static but your style may vary may change according to situation so particularly when you talk about my style my leadership style so i involve basically the first is establishment of principles first i establish a principle then i i create i get my team there and then i set a vision what they want what we want to do being together then we define a framework then after that continuous feedback continuous motivation continuous recognition whatever the required need to give to our team and one more saying that very famous that leadership philosophy and style must be unique because if you try to copy someone else philosophy and try to lead your team then chances might be you are, you might be less successful or less effective and one my personal point is a leader must be unbiased in nature as well as while taking a decision so and particularly when we are working in any uh, educational organization so i have to be a leader have to be very optimistic or say problem solving person uh, i have to be otherwise will stuck to the main uh, uh, a particular point for long time rather solve it out and get to the next step so this is my plan uh, being the principal of swarnam science college what do you think uh, your roles and responsibilities to the institute as well as the students are okay so uh, first of all that uh, any leader or you can say uh, being as a, a working on the key uh, a place in a, any academic organization uh, for uh, first and most uh, the part is to provide leadership direction and coordination 
within your institute that is a prime goal and then principal particularly have to focus more to develop and uh, uh, say maintain effective teaching educational programs within the campus within the university and promoting the improvement and uh, uh, that uh, the teaching and learning apart on regular basis along with that you also talked about the uh, roles and responsibility related to students that is very crucial and important part so first of all i would say student control and supervision in which i would mention some points which i believe which are very important is establishment of a climate in which student can learn self discipline that is very very important for a growth of any institute or organization so it's my responsibility to generate that positive climate around then making sure that along with academics other curriculars and extra curricular activities must go on parallelly because all these activities are very important for uh, for students and their uh, overall growth actually and along with that involvement of uh, sports activity nss activities nccs these are equally important so my role is to uh, supervise and motivate our students my students to actively participate according to their caliber in all these activities along with that i also mention regarding uh, that current uh, uh, pandemic time even the health issues are very important uh, when students are coming to the uh, campuses for uh, practical sessions or to uh, get journals and assignments so uh, their social distancing management uh, is a very crucial part then along with that inspection of a ground and uh, buildings on regular basis uh, to check whether they are free from all hazards because which may can uh, cause accidents is a very important part and one point i personally emphasize that that our campus swaning science college even my university is free from hazards creation activation and active involvement in anti ragging committee is very important right sir so so coming to the next question how does the curriculum of swarnam startup and innovation university ensure the best practices of the industry industry okay so uh, your question is uh, basically uh, related to or based on the industry academia in- interaction because it's a coined word because without academics industries and their a uh, real uh, working possible and without that vice versa so uh, in in that part i believe curriculum designing is a very important part and being as a private university we have an edge of advantage that we can alter our syllabus according to the current need of industry current need of society so uh, first and foremost we have to add something that is called elective that means industry elective subjects must be offered in our curriculum uh, actually we are the uh, one of the few universities that runs on cbcs method choice based credit system that we have adopted in which we are offering multiple choice to our students so the first point is uh, industry elective subjects we will offer from day one to our students when they enter in ug program so their uh, capabilities their understanding their logics may generate may enhance and with time they can cope up uh, uh, very well then uh, along with that training sessions workshops for students must be arranged that we are arranging and learning so hands on training they are getting at what current advancements current trends going on in, in in the industries they are well equipped well understood then newsletter part that means uh, you might have heard that word uh, a paid newsletters in which we have a paid subscription where uh, in the globe what are the news, uh, new researchers uh, new topics evolved what are the new challenges coming what are the new uh, discoveries what are the new innovations going on in the globe they all can get to the students via that newsletters so we have a paid subscription at our university so students always 24/7 they are aware with what is going on around in the globe then we as usual we arrange our seminars 
industrial visits from day one when students enters in the ug programs normally generally universities arrange those programs when students come in the last semester or last year but in swarnim where we start from day one that means from semester one we give our students those kind of exposure where they are familiar with what what is going on in the uh, future industries and along with that uh, without the their active involvement in research because that part is very important what they are understanding that must be in the textual form so writing a paper is very important so from management side from swarnim uh, side we are giving sponsorships that you can publish your paper also then research support we also provide and we for over the several years we are providing the best project award to our students to motivate them to uh, get involvement in this kind of activities so right so on that note my next question is that uh, when you first came to uh, ssiu what was your vision to the university has it evolved over time and uh, how far along in implementing that vision are you uh, normally when uh, i came to the university uh, uh, we were we have started our academic journey uh, along with our students in normal conventional mode where conventional teaching uh, based on normal practicals are going on and we had a vision that we have to be in rankings so i am very glad to announce that uh, in atal rankings uh, recently published in the month of august that we are amongst in india we are in the top 50 universities and in gujarat we are in the top 5 uh, four we are the top four universities who uh, ranked in that uh, we are actively working on the startup activities and all that so till date we are working on one faculty one startup program that means a faculty has to do something innovative do have to part in that but in future we have planned that one student one startup program one student one startup that looks at the, at this time it looks very difficult but that is our task that is our challenge then we have to work hard in shifting our students mind their their thoughts regarding entrepreneurship regarding enter uh, innovations that remaining uh, the part that means incubation of that ideas nurturing of that idea providing all kind of facilities providing funding is our our part that we are working on that but uh, that that is very difficult task we are we are looking that we we can achieve if we work hard and everything goes good then we can be in next 10 years in the top 10 universities along with that research activity in the campus is very important so our persistent goal is to uh, uh, generate such kind of environment where all faculty members and even students can uh, pursue their research uh, part research activities so firstly many many congratulations to ssi on being so highly ranked and uh, wishing uh, thank you. you all thank you all the very best for the coming future and uh, now moving to the last part of the interview sir any suggestions you would like to give to the current uh, youth as well as the aspiring students yeah uh, uh, there is a very old saying that uh, a student's life is the best life of your entire journey and i also do believe in that so when you have a chance you are uh, in a young age so i would only say that strike the hammer hard and shape your future and there is no shortcut of any success so you have to work hard for it and uh, time is very precious so don't waste it in, in in gossiping be creative and and never stop dreaming on that uh, uh, talk less listen more is the motto and uh, as per the uh, the scenario of current youth they are always overthink of something so it's my simple advice and request that stop overthinking and overreacting be happy thank you for such a motivational response sir uh, on that note i would like to conclude the interview that was indeed a quite intellectual and informative session thank you so much for your time